The president loves his country and his actions time and time again have shown that, but his latest actions and recent developments regarding that will surprise you even more but in the best possible way, especially when you hear about his ideas about the changes he wants to make to presidential plane Air Force One. This is exactly why the American public love him and why they will continue to love him going forward and vote for him again when he runs in 2020, USA Today reported. Add Air Force One to the list of things President Donald Trump wants to improve while he's in office. According to Axios, the president met with Boeing CEO Dennis Muhlenberg earlier this year to discuss using 747s as Air Force One. The designation is used for whatever plane the president is on at the time, but it's typically a Boeing VC-25. The deal would reportedly cost $4 billion and likely wouldn't lead to new planes available for use until 2021. But he's not just leaning toward a different aircraft, he also reportedly wants a new look, specifically, one that incorporates red, white and blue. Graphics artists here at the USA Today Network imagined what that could look like. The current design of Air Force One, with the signature blue and white colors, dates back to the Kennedy administration. Paraxios, Trump doesn't think that the current blue, a luminous aquamarine, is very American. But presidential historian Michael Beschloss told Axios that the color was picked by JFK himself, back in 1962. Why would anyone want to discard an Air Force One design that evokes more than a half century of American history, he said. While Fortune magazine has reported, the current coloring dates back to the early 1960s, when President John F. Kennedy and First Lady Jackie Kennedy had industrial designer Raymond Lowy redesign the plane pro bono. He replaced orange coloring and the words military air transport service with a sleek blue trim, technically luminous ultramarine says Axios, and the words United States of America. For more than 55 years, Air Force One has made this look iconic. According to the report, Trump sat down with Boeing CEO Dennis Muhlenberg in the Oval Office last February to discuss a $4 billion deal for two replacement 747s for use as Air Force One. Trump has the authority to change the design. Some top officers within the Air Force reportedly prefer the current blue which they say is known around the world. Every time you see that blue trim and the words United States of America spelled out in that same timeface as an early version of the Declaration of Independence, it brings back JFK landing in Germany to speak at the Berlin Wall, Richard Nixon flying to China, Ronald Reagan stepping off the plane to see Gorbachev in Iceland and a thousand other scenes of presidents in our past. Presidential historian Michael Beschloss told Axios, aside from updating the color scheme, Trump reportedly wants to upgrade the presidential bed, replacing the current couch-like bunk with something bigger and more comfortable, but he won't even get to enjoy these changes unless he's re-elected. Boeing's, B.A., plus 1.44 percent, two 747s need to be converted from commercial aircraft to a presidential transport and are unlikely to hit the skies before January of 2021. Given all the divisiveness that is going on in the United States, we need a patriotic injection now more than ever. This will be a strong message to any and all detractors of the Trump administration that no matter what sludge they throw at us we will never lose our love for our country. There is so much waste in the federal and state government and there are much worse ways your taxpayer dollars could be used than on a new patriotic design of Air Force One. Given that the president is incredibly wealthy himself and he continues to donate his presidential paychecks it is a possibility he might use his own money to make the changes to Air Force One. Either way, we are all looking forward to the new design and there will likely be a plethora of different designs for consideration. Much like the design of the Capitol in the late 1700s and early 1800s a competition for different designs should be taken into consideration, making Air Force One great again. One design, one stripe, one star at a time. God bless America. Share if you agree that Air Force One should be made over. Share if you believe that President Trump's idea is a good one. Share if you think that a new design will make a good and patriotic statement. Share if you believe that any design considerations should be made open to the public. Share if you agree that this is a tremendous idea that will make America great again.